The world is witnessing an unprecedented era of construction and technological progress. Each year, massive projects come closer to completion, reshaping cities, industries, and lives. In 2025, some of the most ambitious megaprojects in history will finally be realized. The Grand Egyptian Museum The Grand Egyptian Museum, located near the Great Pyramids of Giza, is set to open in 2025. Covering approximately 500,000 square meters, it will be the largest archaeological museum in the world dedicated to a single civilization. The museum will house more than 100,000 artifacts, including the complete collection of Tutankhamun's treasures, which will be displayed together for the first time since their discovery in 1922. The building itself is an architectural marvel, featuring a modern design that incorporates traditional Egyptian motifs. Its facade is constructed from alabaster, paying homage to the materials used in ancient Egypt. Inside, visitors will encounter state-of-the-art preservation techniques and interactive exhibits designed to educate and inspire. The museum's construction, which began in 2002, has faced numerous delays due to financial and logistical challenges. However, its completion is expected to provide a significant boost to Egypt's tourism industry and cultural diplomacy. Istanbul Canal The Istanbul Canal is one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in Turkey's history. Designed to address the growing congestion in the Bosporus Strait, a critical maritime passage that connects the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara. The Bosporus is among the busiest waterways in the world, with over 40,000 vessels navigating its narrow and winding course annually. This heavy traffic poses significant safety risks, including collisions and oil spills, which the Istanbul Canal aims to mitigate. Scheduled for completion in 2025, the canal is envisioned as a modern alternative that will redirect a portion of this maritime traffic enhancing safety and efficiency. The canal will stretch 45 kilometers, with a width of 275 meters and a depth of 21 meters, making it capable of accommodating some of the largest commercial vessels in operation. Its construction involves extensive excavation and engineering to create a route that seamlessly connects the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara. This feat of engineering is not only designed to improve maritime logistics but also to bolster Turkey's strategic importance as a global trade hub. Beyond its role as a waterway, the Istanbul Canal is a comprehensive urban development initiative. Along its banks, the Turkish government plans to develop new residential areas, commercial districts, and recreational spaces, transforming the region into a vibrant urban corridor. This includes the construction of modern housing complexes, shopping centers, and green parks designed to enhance the quality of life for residents and attract investment. The project also incorporates advanced infrastructure, such as bridges and transportation networks, to ensure seamless connectivity between the canal's two sides. Despite its scale and potential economic benefits, the canal has been a subject of intense debate. Environmentalists have raised concerns about its ecological impact, particularly the potential disruption of marine ecosystems and salinity balance between the Black Sea and the Sea of Marmara. The project also faces criticism for its high cost and the displacement of communities along its route. However, Turkish officials argue that the long-term benefits, including increased safety, economic growth, and urban renewal, outweigh these challenges. As construction progresses, the Istanbul Canal is poised to become a defining feature of Turkey's infrastructure landscape, reshaping both the maritime and urban character of the region. Riyadh Metro Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia, is preparing to inaugurate its state-of-the-art metro system in 2025. With six lines covering 176 kilometers and 85 stations, the Riyadh Metro is one of the most extensive urban transit projects in the Middle East. The system is designed to address the city's growing population and traffic congestion, offering a sustainable alternative to car travel in a region heavily reliant on private vehicles. The project incorporates cutting-edge technology, including automated trains and advanced signaling systems. Stations are designed with a mix of modern and traditional Saudi architectural elements, emphasizing functionality and aesthetics. 
The metro is expected to handle up to 3.5 million passengers daily, significantly reducing carbon emissions and improving air quality in Riyadh. This project is part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 initiative, aimed at diversifying the economy and enhancing the quality of life for its citizens. The metro's completion represents a significant milestone in the country's efforts to modernize its infrastructure and promote sustainability. Hinkley Point C Nuclear Power Station In the United Kingdom, Hinkley Point C is nearing completion, with the first unit expected to become operational in 2025. This nuclear power station, located in Somerset, is the first new nuclear plant to be built in the UK in over two decades. Once fully operational, it will provide low-carbon electricity to approximately 6 million homes, playing a critical role in the country's transition to cleaner energy sources. Hinkley Point C features two European pressurized reactors, EPRs, a cutting-edge design that improves safety and efficiency compared to older reactor models. The plant's construction has involved more than 22,000 workers and has been a significant economic driver for the region. However, it has also faced criticism for its high costs, delays, and dependence on foreign investment. Despite these challenges, Hinkley Point C is a key component of the UK's strategy to achieve net-zero carbon emissions by 2050. Its completion will mark a significant step toward reducing reliance on fossil fuels and ensuring energy security. Jakarta-Bandung High-Speed Railway the Jakarta-Bandung High-Speed Railway in Indonesia is set to revolutionize transportation in Southeast Asia. This 142-kilometer railway will connect Jakarta, the nation's capital, with Bandung, a major economic and cultural hub. Trains on the line will travel at speeds of up to 350 km per hour, reducing travel time between the two cities from over three hours to just 40 minutes. The project is a collaboration between Indonesia and China, with significant investment and technical expertise coming from Chinese companies. It represents a milestone in Indonesia's infrastructure development, aiming to improve connectivity, reduce road traffic, and stimulate regional economic growth. However, the project has faced challenges, including land acquisition disputes, environmental concerns, and delays caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite these setbacks, the railway is expected to begin operations in 2025, marking a new era of high-speed rail in the region. These megaprojects reflect the ambition and complexity of modern engineering and infrastructure development. From cultural preservation and urban transformation to advancements in transportation and energy, each project represents a significant step forward in addressing the challenges of the 21st century. While they are not without controversy or challenges, their completion in 2025 will have far-reaching implications for their respective regions and beyond.